What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going over the stats of all of the new cards that are out today in NBA 2K20, my team. So these cards will probably be out in an hour or two hours from now, 90 minutes from now. It, um, it all depends, so I think that some of these cards are good, some of these cards are not great, and we're going to go over them right now. So we're going to start off with Cole Anthony. Obviously Cole Anthony, it's weird, like, I can see us getting a pink diamond and a mellow ball at some stage this year, the way things are going. Next pack, I think we're probably going to get pink diamond and a mellow ball. We had diamond Cole Anthony. So, Cole Anthony, from Weber State, so Dame Lillard, I guess, um... <laughs> He's got a 94 three ball. Like, it's mad. They can't even get the colleges right. For the college, the guys that are currently in college. <laughs> but, um, 94 three ball, 90 mid, 85 dunk, which is fine. Okay speed, acceleration. Let's check the badges. Gold range. Got half quick draw still, though. He's got only gold clamps, only gold interceptor. No intimidator. Is he going to be good? No. Like, terrible on boss steel tendency. Not a good cross, but okay behind the back. Dame Lillard size up. Wait a minute, are these literally Dame Lillard six? I think these might actually be just Dame Lillard six with uh, John Wall's lower. I'm not lying, I think they might be. We're going to have to check. Let's see, does, are these the same as this one? No, he's got a completely different size up. So obviously jumper's still the same, the cross the same, but they gave him Lillard size up, I guess. I don't know what that is, but they gave it to him. And we have got Kobe White. Kobe White's a player that I... Kind of interested in. Didn't realize his wingspan was only 6'5", but he is still a 6'5 point guard. He's still going to be like 1,000 MT. Like, we can't forget that. Driving dunk off 75 is not great at all. But he's got a great three ball, great mid-range. He's got great speed, two ball, and acceleration. Not great defensive stats. He does have half clamps. No intimidator. Or, say no interceptor. No intimidator, which are huge. Like, the, these are two of the most... De like, the most important defense about, his, defense about his clamps. After that, for a guard, it's these two badges right here and obviously got range got quick draw hall of fame do i think he'll be great no do i think he'll be somewhat usable probably um tendency 60 on ball steel tendency not great let's have a look at the jumper so trade work upper an okay behind the back not a great cross really good hop step but he can't dunk so i don't know how relevant that's going to be also has got a pretty decent hezzy i don't know what jump chat 80 is so let's have a look for that let's have a look for 80 right here so, it's Jamal Murray, Mikael Bridges, Kuzma. I think it's good. I don't... Again, I haven't used... I'm pretty sure I haven't used it on half quick draw, so... Not going to talk really about things I don't know about, but... I think in general that it's going to be quite a decent release. I think Kobe White... I don't think it'll be a great card. I think it'll be kind of an interesting card. Then we got James Wiseman. Man, this card right here is going to be something else. For budget cards, this card's going to be something else. So, still got 88 speed, um, which is fairly good for a center. Has got 85 lateral points, which is not great, but it's okay for a center. Only a 76 steal, but he's got gold interceptor still. He's got Hall of Fame clamps. He's got Hall of Fame moving truck, Hall of Fame intimidator, Hall of Fame post move lockdown, rebound chaser, everything but off ball pest. He doesn't have handles for days, which is a little bit annoying if you're tweening up and down the floor with him, but like it's kind of a nitpick on a center. Only goal range extender, but he still has half quick draw with that Chris Bosch release. Still got basically all the shooting badges, still got quick first step, post spin, still got tight handles on pluckable. Still got a pretty pretty good three ball. He's got a pretty good block as well. He's got, again, just any on the floor general needs speed boost. He's got 90 driving dunk, good post game. Let's have a look at tendencies. 65 on ball steel, sigs. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Is this the exact same um, crossover? So he has, it's slasher, normal three, pro two, pro four, pro four. With jump shot 29 and mellow base. So this card right here is... Jump to 29 mellow base. Okay. Okay. So he doesn't have a great behind the back. He doesn't have a great moving speed. doesn't have a great hezzy. But they still kept him with that normal three crossover. Which means he can still dribble glitch up and down the floor. I don't think he's going to be... He's not going to be as good as this Wiseman right here. And I don't think it's particularly close. However, he's still probably... If he's less than 30k, he's still probably the best value center in this game. Not going to lie. Like, even over Eddie Kurt. He still might be the best value center in the game. Because he can still dribble glitch up and down the floor. And we got Daryl Griffith. 6'4 point guard. 6'7 wingspan is okay. 93 balls all right, I guess. 
Actually, why am I saying it's all right? Like, coach and floor general, that goes up to 99. He's got 98 driving dunk. He's got 95 speed of ball, 95 acceleration, 95 speed, 93 steel. So he's got basically perfect stats. Check badges. Anything he badly needs. You'd rather these be Hall of Fame, but if you look, they're fine. Okay, so he's got kind of everything desperately needs. Pretty good on-ball steel tendency. Pretty good pass interception tendency. Base 40. Oh, it's not good on a point guard. It's Rip, it's Rip Hamilton's base, basically. He's got the Pro 3 cross, which I don't think is great, but the Pro 3 behind the back is really good. Um, Pro 3 has, he's really good. So, he's going to be okay. Like, he'll be fine. If he's cheap, he'll be all right. So, I'm going to say, like, if he ends up reading around the, like, 9, 10k MT mark, he might actually be kind of usable if you're doing, like, an all-time jazz or a jazz theme team, but I don't see much of a point in him. I mean, a Bill Lambeer. Great three ball, really good speed, and really good ball handle. Okay, they, this could be interesting if they give him a good release. He, his stats are fantastic. Defensive badge, he's got all of them. So he's going to be an elite defensive player. He's 7 3 wingspan. He's got elite stats of basically everything. Obviously, not going to be a great dunker. Um, half range, half quick draw. Uh, he's got unpluckable tight handles, no handles for days. Okay. He's got a good shot contest and block tendency, not a good steal tendency, so he's not going to play the lanes. Actually, he might be okay. Ah, oh, they gave him, still gave him Bill Lambeer's release, which is terrible. It is absolutely terrible, lads. I was, I was kind of hoping, I was just hoping that maybe they gave him some nice dribble sigs or just changed up his release, just gave him a different base, still give him Bill Lambeer's upper, but different base, but no, nah, his release has been terrible since the beginning of time in 2K games. His card has never been good. Well, Bill Lambeer in general has never been good in 2K solely because of the release. So now we've gone over kind of the lower five players. Now we're going to go on to the, the five more interesting players. So Lamar Odom. He's a glitch card. He's a 6'10 point guard. He's got, you know what? Like half range is I've never used a Lamar Odom half range, but I'm guessing it's going to be really good. He's got 96 three ball. He's basically a, I don't know, he doesn't have a high block rating or steel rating, but again, he's got all the badges you need. He's got 50 half badges, 69 total badges. Does he, is there any badges that you read? You'd rather him have box and brick wall, but at the end of the day, he's a point guard. Um, speed of ball is really good. Ball handle's good. Post game's really good. Driving and standing dunk are really good. Three, shooting's really good. Everything's really good in this card. He's got every single badge that you need. He's got range, quick draw, Hall of Fame. Deep, he doesn't have deep fades, which you could definitely do with deep fades, but again, not the biggest deal in the world. 70 on ball steel is not good, but not terrible. 75 pass interception is okay. Pretty okay shot and block ten, shot on or contest and block tendency um, for a point guard as well. Also, the fact is he's a 6 hand point guard, which is huge. So I don't know what dribble style Paul George is. He's got Lamarcus Aldridge, Paul George. Is this the same release as his other card? Yeah. So... He's got that. He's got the Pro 5 behind the back, which is pretty good. It's the it's the Anthony Edwards behind the back. He's got Pro 2 cross, so you can tween up and in the floor. Pro 2 left, right, um, glitch, curry size up. He's got the Paul George dribble style, which I don't know what it is. Got the best hop step in the game. Got a Pro 1 Hezzy, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, this card is a top, top tier point guard. He's top tier. Like, again, he's, pro he's probably a better Hito. Not gonna lie, I think that's that's how I'm gonna describe him. He's a better Hito Turklu. Although the thing is that he does 100k, and I'm guessing Lamar would be 400k, but he's like a better Hito. And we've got a card that I'm really, I'm really kind of iffy about, and it's Hakeem Olajuwon at small forward. Hakeem has got good speed, acceleration, oh, pretty okay speed of ball. Defensively, he's fantastic. He is fantastic. Got great three ball, 95. Got great driving dunk, great post game. Great rebound. Badges wise, he's got everything. Every defensive badge, quick for his step. He's got pretty much everything. Fancy footwork would really help though. But at the end of the day, still got half range, half quick drop. He was very, very sluggish with this Galaxy Opal. That's all I'm going to say. And this Opal here had like the normal six cross, normal four behind the back. He was very sluggish. Let's see what this one has. Okay. So I'd hate the Pro 2 behind the back, but it's better than whatever the normal one he had. He's got the normal one size up, which isn't great. I don't know what dribble style power changes. He doesn't have a great layout package. However, he can tween up and down the floor, I guess. He's got a good moving spin. Or moving spins around. Sorry, he's got a good moving hezzy, as far as I know. Um, it's not a card I would use because his release is still terrible. 
Now, he's still got the same set, set shot 18. And I really don't like that release. For, like, it's fine on a center. I don't like that release with any sort of creating. And are you really going to be dribble glitching up and down the forward, Akeem? I don't think he's quite fast enough to do that. I think he's going to be okay. But I put him in kind of the same bracket as this card right here. I'm not saying which one is better, but I put him in kind of the same conversation as Bill Russell. I think Bill Russell and Hakeem are very, very similar cards. Probably I'd say Hakeem is that bit better, but it'll also be that bit more expensive. But at the same time, Hakeem, Hakeem's a really good card. Um, I don't think he'll be the greatest card in the world, but he still is going to be very good. Next, we're going to go to Sean Marion. Sean Marion, 6'7", six, 6'10", six, wingspan. He's got 95 three ball. Oh, wow, these stats are good. I'm surprised. Of all stats, I'm surprised that block is the only one under 85. Actually, passing. Doesn't really matter, though. Um, great driving dunk. He's got great speed, sweep ball, and acceleration. He's got great rebounding stats. Okay, he's got every defensive badge, so he's going to be a pretty decent defender, I'd say. Uh, unpluckable, quick first step. Handles for days, downhill Hall of Fame. No bailout, which is a little bit annoying. No needle threader, no stop and go. Needle threader and bailout are kind of big ones for passing. Um, no steady, thankfully. Quick draw and range. I get it, his upper is going to be weird, but what's his base? Actually, tendencies. 80 on ball, 85 pass interception is pretty good. So he's got jump shot, base 39. So his he's got a bad cross and a bad behind the back, though, as far as I know. Good hop step, though. Okay, what is base 39? Does anyone else have that release? Hersey Hawkins, Kelly Oubre. I get it, his upper is going to look really weird because it's Marion, but... I haven't used any of these cards enough to know what their base is like. That's all I'm going to say. I haven't used any of them enough to know if it's fast, slow, what the story is with it. Um, let's see, is it actually Marion's release? Release 67, yeah, this is Marion's release. So, I don't think he's going to be spectacular, but I also don't think he's going to be awful either, to be honest. Then we got Dame Lillard. And I've already looked at this guy's stats, and my God, is he bad. He's got... He's actually got a decent enough wingspan, 6'7". Has got a great three ball, a great, a pretty good driving dunk, good speed sweep ball and acceleration. But like nine, at this stage, 97 is kind of like, obviously he goes higher with coaches, but it's like, it's not even the highest. Good enough lateral quickness, good steal. Badges wise, he's he's got seven defensive badges. He's got seven. No interceptor and no intimidator. You are kidding me. They are, after clamps, they are the two most important defensive badges for a guard. Like, You've given Curry rim protector, and they didn't give him either interceptor or intimidator, which is awful. He's got half range, half quick draw. Yeah, it's great. Like tendencies, he doesn't have a good on ball steal tendency. He's got Dame Lillard upper, Dame Lillard base, Dame Lillard dribble style. He's got a pretty okay behind the back, but a not great um, crossover, n a not good layup package at all. Good hezzy though. And one thing, I'm going to show you this right now. I'm going to show you this right now. This card right here, Baron Davis. One extra Hall of Fame badge, almost the same stats, except Baron Davis is better at a couple of things, except Baron Davis has got Hall of Fame Interceptor and Hall of Fame Intimidator. Look at those two right here. Two massive badges. And look at Sigs and Animations. He's got, I'm pretty sure, and he's the same. I don't know what the Westbrook layout package is, but Dame Lillard, Dame Lillard. The same has he. Like, they're, they're the same card, except Baron Davis is better. I'm almost certain I'm right with that one. I'm almost certain I'm right with that one. So let's have a look just at Baron Davis right here. So Sigs, obviously Baron Davis is better badges wise. Baron Davis, I don't know if Westbrook's better in Circus. Dribble style quick, Dame Lillard, don't know the difference. Pro 2 is the Curry size up. I don't know what Lillard is. Same crossover, same behind the back, same moving spin, same moving hezzy. And Baron Davis has got way more dunk packages. He's got 14. I don't know what that make, difference that makes. And they have the exact same jump shot and the exact same in the post. Like, they are so similar. Except Baron Davis just better in every way. So, lads, if you... Like, if you want to use Dame Lillard because you're a huge Blazers fan or you're a huge Lillard fan, use it. If you want to use Dame Lillard because, I don't know, he's your favorite player in, uh, like, play now and stuff, and you're like, okay, I know I have Lillard's release down. Lillard's going to be incredible. Just use better Dame Lillard. Baron Davis. <laughs> but uh, now we're going to go into the GOAT Will Chamberlain. So, Goat Wilt has got 90, basically 99 every side. He's a Goat card. Um, quick draw, half and half range extender. He's got, let's hope his SIGs get better. 
Anchor breaker, break starter, dimer, downhill. Tight handles, unpluckable. Yeah, he's got gold handles for days. You got pretty much everything you need. He's got... Still got set shot 17, which is the slowest release in the game. I'm not going to lie, that is literally the slowest release in the game. He's got not a great layout package. His dribble saves are still terrible. I think they are still absolutely terrible. So, what I'm going to say about this Will Chamberlain card right here, I don't, he's not on Cream and Wiseman level, but he's a significantly better Shaq. That's what he is. He is a, sig it's not letting me go to Shaq, but he is a significantly better version of the Glitch Shaq. That's what he is. He, like, he's got an eight foot wingspan. He's just a, he's a five inch bigger wingspan. He is a much better defender and slightly better shooter than the Glitch Shaq. He is a much, much better Glitch Shaq. And in terms of like centers in this game, I would probably say it's Kareem 1, Wiseman 2, and then you can put Wilt. You probably, like most, a lot of people have Wilt 3. I personally have Embiid 3, but then you can have Wilt. Wilt's in that conversation with Embiid. Wilt's better, he's better than Shaq though. So if you have Shaq over Embiid, Wilt's the third best center in the game. He's literally just a better Shaq. Um, doesn't quite have the behind the back of Shaq, but does everything else. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. If these new cards right here, I think... Do stay as far away from Lillard and Sean Marion as you can. Wilt, it depends on how you get him. It depends on your place that he could be very good. Hakeem, I think, is going to be very like a Bill Russell type player. Lamar Odom is going to be exceptional. Bill Lambeard, stay away. Um, Cole Anthony, stay away. Let's be real. Kobe White, if you're just down at the games like 1000 MT, he'll be fine. James Wiseman, if he's cheap, could be the best cheap center in the game. And Daryl Griffith, to be honest, just like a better Cole Anthony and White slash um, Kobe White, to be honest. Um, he'll be fine. He's not going to be great, but if he's cheap, he'll be okay. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.